guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today's video is going to start tonight and finish tomorrow because first up, what I've got to show you is some flower horn eggs. Now, the flower horns bred literally less than an hour after I finished yesterday's video. So I've left them for about six hours or so now. Um, it's dark now um, and I'm going to measure up my methylene blue. I'm actually uh, just watching my own YouTube video on it like I do every time I make up the methylene blue because I always seem to forget how much we need. So we're putting this over here so we don't stain the kitchen bench. Um, I might just sit on the lid so it's on a flat surface. And then we need something to scoop this. Um, so I need like 1.4 to 1.6 grams. I used to be really worried about getting the exact amount and then I realized it actually doesn't matter too much. Oops. Look at that guys, first shot. I didn't even have to go for a second shot. Oh, I'm filming in the wrong resolution guys. I'm gonna have to change that. Um, in the sink there, see how quickly just that little bit on the spoon goes blue? This stuff is potent. I've got enough to like, last me a lifetime. But we'll put that away. Anyway, so I haven't actually separated the flower horns yet. I just like to make this up before I go in the fish room. It's easier this way. I was going to get some baggies and make up a heap of them, but I haven't done it yet. But I'll do it one day. Wake up, fishy fishies. Oh, look at him go. She's been a good girl guarding the plate. Um, so, I'm going to take the plate. One great thing about this pair, I don't actually need to separate them. Other pairs I've bred, you have to separate them afterwards because the boy just attacks the girl, but Charles is a... Is an awesome fish. He doesn't attack the girls. So we need to set this tub up. What's in there? We need to uh, get that out, whatever that is. I'm really good at keeping things clean, you see. So they're not going to stay in this tub like usual. Normally I grow them out for a week or two in this tub. This time, as soon as they're wrigglers, they're getting siphoned out and they're going in the eight foot. Um, so we'll put our methylene blue up here, a little drug package. We need a hose. I've got this one here. I wouldn't mind a bit of a bigger hose, but this will have to do. Siphoning with one hand is quite hard when you're trying to vlog. I don't know if I filmed that very good then guys, but we'll see. I'm surprised she's not hanging out by her plate. Go fan your eggs, darling. Come on, I'm not taking them just yet. Fan them. You've got five minutes until I take them. Poor Charles, he looks a bit rough. The old breeding's taken it out of him. Definitely not his um, usual colouring. It's gone a bit muddy. Poor bloke, I might need to give him a bit of a break from the girls. He pretty much has been with a girl for probably three months straight. Might have to give him a break, I reckon. And then we'll try to get Elsa breeding. Trooper's got her tubes half down. Hopefully she breeds soon. Anyway, I'm going to fill this bucket up and then I'll get back to you. Right, so now the tub's full. We're going to take the plate. This girl's probably going to attack me. Wait. Sorry, darling. I actually don't like taking the plates from the girls. They freak out. But anyway, 
plate goes in here. You guys aren't going to be able to see that very well. It's not much light. We've got airstone here. What's this even hooked up to? Seems like I'm a bit unorganized here. Oh, it's already hooked up, guys. We don't even need to plug it in. All right, I'm going to try to get some light for you because this is my favorite part. Put the lights on its last legs. Only half of it works now, and you've got to bang it for it to turn on. But we've got light. Now, this stuff sucks to get on your hands. So we're going to try and not. But I love watching this. Look how cool it looks. Especially this time, because it's like big chunks. So then... There's that massive chunk, and try to stir that up. And there we go. Now I've just got to wait 72 hours and we'll see if they're fertile. Um, track record with this pair. I've had, this is their th third batch. The first two were fertile, so there's no reason that the third batch shouldn't be f fertile. But we'll just wait and see. It could, could probably actually use a little bit more methylene blue than that, but that should be enough. We don't need to make it overly strong. Just keep an eye out for fungus. Where's the airline? Uh, yeah, you guys can't really see, can you? It's a big, a big batch of eggs. So fingers crossed, it'd be perfect for the eight foot. We want that batch to be as big as possible. So it looks cool in the eight foot. Purely aesthetics. I don't need 800 fry at the moment. I've got that many flower horn fry, but we're doing this for the content, aren't we guys? We want this to be a cool video with a shitload of fry in that tank. All right guys, I'll tell a lie. I said I was gonna carry this video on tomorrow. But I don't think I am. I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, tomorrow I am thinking about stripping some African cichlids. I really need to do it. There's a couple of uh, quite um, so a couple of mouthfuls that are like I really want to strip, like high end. So I really need to get stuck into that. But this is great, guys. I've recorded two videos today, which means I'm back to being a day ahead in my videos, which is cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Wow, that, that was a really strange ending. That's not my normal thing, is it? Anyway, see ya.